Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Julie Gilbert here, along with Rachel Mathios. Hi, Hello. Rachel. And we are joining joining you live mm -hmm. uh, here from Oregon Weight and Wellness. And uh, we are continuing our conversation. Hey, uh, yeah, Michael Pollan's Food Rules. But, but first, time out. Before we oh. jump into that, Rachel, did you notice what was high in the sky yesterday? There was an orb. <laughs> yeah. it glows yes it sort of looks yellow yeah it brings warmth <laughs> right uh it improved my mood it strangely <laughs> has this incredible impact on my mood yeah. all my flowers turned toward it <laughs> and we all stood in like awe and wonder right. you mean the sun <laughs> yes yes <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my whole body did a whole little happy dance. Yeah, I, I, okay, I was kind of like weekend warrior on my weeds. Mm, nice. <laughs> hey, there was a little alliteration there. Weekend warrior on your weed. Yeah, man, I was like, Ugh. so I'm feeling it in my shoulders today. Yeah. And then I got a little carpal tunnel going on, but I'll yeah, that it. does. How about how's your back? That's usually what gets me the Back's, most. Uh, back is good. Back is good. Yeah. Been doing my uh, deadlifts and uh, squats. Yeah. So my back is good. But um, <laughs> yeah. So they were monster size. The weeds. Uh, we finally were able to cut our grass yesterday because it had rained so much that you can't mow. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, it was like two feet. My husband was like, <laughs> would walk like, three steps and then it'd be like bull and he's like, <laughs> and it was like he came in the house he's like that sucked <laughs> and we don't yeah. have a large yard like it it was really funny that's my job we have a lot of outdoor stuff but yeah. my job is cutting the grass and catching it and then you know dumping out i i think of it as my exercise i i really do cool. so i'm gonna go do it today yeah mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. We, I hadn't been able to get in between the raindrops to cut it a couple of times, but I yeah. get you, I get you. So anyway, so here we are uh, yeah. enjoying the sunshine. Thank you. <laughs> and then also talking about uh, food rules. Food rules. So yeah. And uh, we're, uh, we've, we've, we're continuing the conversation about this very point that he makes, which is. Yes, the, the, the section we're on is about how to eat. Yeah. And the chapter 50 is the banquet, the banquet is in the first bite. Yeah. So I'd love to just read the first couple sentences. It's a very short chapter. Yeah, please do. Uh, but let me read this. Taking this adage to heart will help you enjoy your food and eat more slowly. Hmm. No other bite will taste as good as the first. Mm -hmm. And every subsequent bite will progressively diminish in satisfaction. Mm. Economists call this the law of diminishing marginal utility. So what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, uh, so what he's saying is the first bite is the best. Yeah. The first bite is the most rewarding, the mm -hmm. most flavorful. It's mm -hmm. where you feel all the flavors explode, the textures. And with each subsequent bite, it's not as powerful, not as pleasurable, not as tasty. Right. Do you yeah. agree? Yeah. Yeah. The um, except for one thing, which I'm going to reserve for in a second. Okay. Um, yes, mm -hmm. he's saying, and, and I think of it because I feel echoey in here, but that's okay. Um, I I think of it as uh, I'm anticipating. Like I was looking forward to my lunch really looking forward to it not overly hungry but i was you know definitely three headed to two as far as the hunger scale and and so yeah and i had already prepared it i knew what i was eating i had planned for it so yeah that first bite i was like all in this is going to be good yeah. and it was yeah. so um right so I, I no, I would stretch it out to the first couple of bites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure, the first couple of bites, and uh, especially, I think what you, what you just brought up is a good point that I think that that's especially true when we know what we're going to eat and we've mm -hmm. had to wait for it. 
Mm -hmm. So you know what's planned for dinner. You know what's planned for lunch. You remember what it looks like that you made it. Um, there's an excitement there. So there's kind of this buildup mm -hmm. um, and, and you're, you're looking forward to it. And yeah, so maybe the first couple bites, but, you know, so scientifically, um, when they look at, at, at brain scans and they talk about dopamine, right, these receptors, these, these pleasure sensors that we, that we hit with, um, with food mm -hmm. um, and, and a lot of other things we do. But yeah. what, what they found is that uh, the dopamine, we get the hit of dopamine oftentimes just with the hunt. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for you, you knew lunch was coming. And as you got closer and closer, maybe as you were walking to the refrigerator at break, right. Or, or as you pulled the bowl out, there's this anticipatory and, and you're hunting and you're getting, so there's a reward that you get there. Mm -hmm. That's typically the brightest and biggest hit that we get. Right. And what the, the science shows is that it diminishes from that point mm -hmm. down. Right. Um, so a lot of people think it's with the first bite, but it actually isn't when you're before the first bite, it's before the first bite. It's part of, especially if you're craving something and yeah. you give in to your craving, mm -hmm. it's the excitement. They also say that when you've decided, so if you have a craving or you're thinking about something to eat and you're maybe hemming and hawing about it, the minute you choose, there's a hit right there. There's the mm -hmm. reward in the decision of it, especially mm -hmm. if you've decided uh, maybe something that you're giving into or treating yourself for, you know, like, right. so yeah, it wouldn't be on plan. Yeah. I think what you're talking about, Rachel, is a lot of this, uh, a lot of what you, the science you're talking to about has to do with addiction. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. With highly addictive foods, with sugar highly foods, addictive foods, with yes. high processed foods. Yeah. In that the dopamine hit comes before even, yeah, that rush. Right. Even before eating or, or using or, you know, mm -hmm. and so I, it's fascinating, really. It's really, yeah, it's it fascinating. fascinating. So. But I think um, we can use that. I, I think we can use that, um, mm -hmm. that idea, that concept either with healthy, whole, real foods that, that are blessing our bodies or with highly processed sugar addiction type foods. Either way, if we understand that the first bite to maybe the first four or five bites is that's where the pleasure is at. Mm -hmm. That's where we get that really enjoyable, high flavor, high pleasure hit. And from there, it just becomes eating more of. You're just sort right. of continuing to eat. It's, yeah. it's not as, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and so I appreciate what you said there because in my little category, categoriza categorization <laughs> of eating, I think of three E's. I think of bringing in essentials. Ah. Mm -hmm. I think of bringing in energy. And then I think of bringing in enjoyment. Okay. Yeah. I like that. That's so, great. Yeah. So what you, what this what you're saying and what this um, chapter speaks to is that enjoyment piece, part of it, part of it. It's the dopamine part of the enjoyment piece, mm -hmm. which is in one part of my brain. And then and then as long as I'm eating the essentials and the right quality of energy. So essentials, meaning those amino acids, those fatty acids, those vitamins and minerals. Um, and then, and, and just the right quality of energy then. So I, I'm going to go from that dopamine pleasure. Yeah. I'm going to go from that. I'm going to transition to serotonin. Content. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go from dopamine pleasure, which is important. Mm -hmm. to that okay now i've given my body what it needs what i need the the essentials that i need the right kind of energy that i need and now i'm going to take that deep sigh right yes. Yes. <sighs> right yeah yes i and love you know, that's i've had enough I can right still yeah the satiety of that and in fact mm -hmm. we could probably even talk about oxytocin the mm. I love neurotransmitter, right? Yeah, yeah. If you're eating with friends or a loved one or someone made it for you and you feel loved or cared for yeah. with this food. Or or if you think about the food and who made it and how they made it and where it came from 
And all of those things, you if you are mindful of it, right. you can produce that feeling of the, the love that you feel from mm -hmm. the food or from the, the people who prepared it. Right. So it can be tied in. Yeah, so cool. So I get all this good neurotransmitter in my brain. There's physiology here. I'm getting dopamine, which is important. I'm getting oxytocin mm -hmm. with co is connection, either with the food or the people that prepared it or the people I'm eating with. Yeah. I'm getting that uh yeah serotonin yeah. Yeah. yeah cool very cool very cool i and i do love that because if we eat with this science in our head right mm -hmm. most people i meet when they have a little bit of scientific understanding of how things work or why it's it gets us to buy in better we we, mm -hmm. we feel like we connect with it more like oh, right. there's a reason why i'm trying to eat more slowly there's a mm -hmm a very logical, reasonable reason for talking about these things. Mm -hmm. And we know a little bit of the science, then we can go, whoa, that's cool. I want right. to work with the science and yeah. physiology of my body. Right, exactly. I can embrace how my body works the best. Yeah. And um, and then start creating these the uh, the environment around me that kind of kind of contributes to my success in yeah. that. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I read something one time and I, I wish I could give someone credit for it. But when we're talking about our bodies and working with our bodies, they were talking about the fact that um, despite all of the harm and damage we put our body, we put our bodies through a lot. Right. I mean, we work hard. We play hard. We eat hard. We we have a, an environment that can mm -hmm. be damaging. Speaking of the sun, we love it. But then it can also. Right. Dose of the poison. Right. Right. The dose of the poison. But our bodies, bless them, thank you, Lord. They're they're always trying to heal. They're mm -hmm. constantly, even though we're sort of in a state of decay and dying, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? We're also our bodies are also in a state of constant repair. Right. Always trying to improve, always trying to fix what's broken. And I think about that when I when I um, when I do things that bless my body, when I eat well, when I work with the science and this and the physiology of my body, I picture like all these little you know worker bees inside. And I'm like, here you go, guys. You know, like <laughs> team. <laughs> you know, like we're all working together. Like here comes some great broccoli. <laughs> do good with it. <laughs> Yay, team. <laughs> and at the same time, when I'm doing things that oh, this is gonna make me feel gross, or this is gonna make me feel terrible, or then I know I'm kind of working against my body. It's gonna yeah. keep trying so hard. I'm mm -hmm. so grateful for what my body does and everything. Mm -hmm through and how far it's brought me today right like wow yeah. look what it's yeah. doing even right now so i like that idea of um thinking about what it's doing what you're doing for it and working mm -hmm. together as a team right cool that's great I have a fun way of thinking about it yeah so, so what are you gonna what are you gonna feed the team for dinner tonight oh the team is getting walnut lentil tacos get out <laughs> <laughs> Dopamine. I think I just got like a dopamine hit right now. <laughs> I'm so excited. What time's dinner? What time should I be there? Well, it's going to be early tonight because we have a baseball game to go to. So, you okay. know, it's like four. It's going to be an early an early dinner, which is going to be great because then I can finish eating early in the evening and uh, start my wow. evening fast. Mm. Yeah. How about you? What's for dinner? Yeah. Well, um, I did um, a Rachel Super Fridge yesterday. So... Um, and my husband is, you, met, you met, mentioned fasting, he's fasting. So I don't like to cook when he's fasting because it's kind of the smells are, are a little, yeah. it makes it more challenging to challenging. fast. So, um, so I'm just going to do cold vegetables from my super fridge. Awesome. And I also roasted some, um, garbanzo beans. Is so, that what was on your salad? Those were those roasted mm -hmm. garbanzos? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, it's going to be, I'm doing a meatless Monday. Nice. Awesome. And um, in honor of Kenny's fast. Oh, I yeah. love it. Yeah. 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 Um, a cold smorgasbord veggie super fridge dinners. That sounds amazing. That sounds yeah. so good. It is yeah. good. Well, I'll be telling you, I mean, I've got cabbage purple and green. I've got a uh, bok choy. I've got cauliflower and broccoli and red peppers. And I've got purple onions and I've got, oh, those beautiful heirloom purple reddish um, 
uh, carrots that I've grated. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got zucchini cut up. I've got cucumber. The now, what I don't on. cut, uh, yeah, I, what I don't cut until right before is my tomato. Mm -hmm. I leave the tomato for the rest. So sure. that, that might be the only preparation I have to do. Yeah. Um, and then I have the, my roasted garbanzo beans, and I'll probably put a little um, sunflower seeds on there. Ooh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I was wondering what what nut or seed are you going to put on there? Yeah. You know, uh, I'm thinking sunflower it. seeds or pumpkin yeah. seeds or yeah. even hearts. I, hearts. Yeah, have seeds, uh, mm -hmm. or I can grind a little flax and yes. put that in there. And exactly. then if I stir that all up, I'm good. It's yeah, good. maybe a little vinegar. I either put lemon juice or um, maybe a little um, balsamic or apple cider. Yeah. 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 Drizzle that on. Yeah. Delicious. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. All right. Well, thank you, Rachel, for reminding us how our brain just enjoys food in so many different ways and um, yeah and and we want to um encourage everyone to come on back next week uh i i have to say that i had to press pause i have to press pause on the um on our cooking show because um for friday something happened with the person i had um oh scheduled and then this friday i'm out of town so, uh, but that's coming back. Don't, we're going to get our, we're going to get yep. in a groove there and uh, it's gonna we're gonna to yeah. mm -hmm. yep, we're going to continue to be going. Keep it going. Yeah. All right. I love it. All right. And until next time, thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, Bye, bye, -bye. everybody.